this because I just recorded a video on this. What do you think about the phrase? Uh, it's uh, she's not yours. It's only your turn. Um, now a lot of, a lot of guys in the manosphere that I respect f fully, I respect the shit out of them. They, mm -hmm. they promote that. Um, but I, I, I disagree with it. Um, I, I think, I mean, I, I agree with it to a certain extent, but I think it's, it's sort of almost coming from a low value perspective and there's mm -hmm. extremely high value guys that say that. So if, if you're a content creator watching this and you say that I'm not calling you, <laughs> calling you low value, but yeah. it's almost as if you're putting yourself in a low value mentality. Um, it, a high value man should have uh, the mentality of it could be her turn, you know, right? <laughs> maybe exactly. it's her turn. If she plays right. her cards, right. Maybe she, right. Can, she can stay a while, you know? Yeah. Um, but unfortunately most guys just don't have that mentality. And I think, again, it, it comes down to uh, lack of masculine leadership. I think if they had strong fathers and they saw the way their fathers behave around their mothers, they would, they would understand that. But most guys don't. And it's easy to get caught up in this, uh, you know, I guess the rabbit hole of the manosphere and, and just believe all of this stuff to be 100% true, but it's just not, you know, a lot of it comes down to your mindset. If you're a confident man and it's real confidence based on valid, you've, you've validated it in real life. You you've gone through experiences and you know, you can be successful. Then the, I don't think you should have that mindset. And I think some of the guys that do have that mindset, um, are highly successful men. They're high value men who have recently gone through bad experiences with women. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of where their mindset's at. But I, I think they'll change when, if they, you know, happen to meet a woman who is, is genuine. Yeah, no, I, I agree a hundred percent. And yeah, s same thing again. You know, I, I know a lot of guys I respect make, say that phrase. And I think there's some truth to it, like in the sense that you should be non-attached. You, sh you shouldn't be attached to this one. You should you should assume that everything in your life is borrowed and it, you're going to have to give it back at some time because everything is temporary. And, and so you don't suffer a loss. If she leaves your life, it's OK. Uh, it, but I think a lot of guys are are taking that and then making a negative connotation out of it. it it's almost like that phrase was useful to get people out of blue pill mentality where they were thinking she's the one and she's the only one. And 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 because I love her so much and I like all her Instagram photos, she must like me just as much. And and th th she must not have eyes for any other guy. And like telling them that phrase sort of shakes them out of it. But then, yeah. but then like, I, like you said, like if you make that your mantra and you're like, okay, well, I'm never going to get emotionally involved with a girl because it's just my turn. She's just, she's just a hoe. She just, she just belongs to the streets. As fun as it's to say that, that phrase, uh, then, then like, you're going to miss out on the connection. You're going to miss out on, on actually developing a relationship and, and you're going to, I mean, you could be successful with women being quote, quote cold, but, you're, it's going to be an empty success because you're not going to really feel like you've, you've actually done anything. Like you've just raised your notch count, but you haven't right. actually, you know, haven't, haven't actually improved your life in any way.